Hello to you outside the Prudential Center alongside Ryan Clayton. I'm Chris Russo for Pirate TV. The Pirates drop a tough one today by the score of 70 to 65 to the Louisville Cardinals. Quincy McKnight with three points, the only Pirate with less than nine points as a starter this evening. And Ryan, what did you think of his performance? Yeah, I didn't think, I mean, he played hard but wasn't able to get it to fall. He shot one for four from the field, no assists and no rebounds. Not the best performance from him. And there was, despite that stat line, a little bit of a vote of confidence from head coach Kevin Willard. So I think the more situations they get to it, the more confidence they have. Because I, I have confidence in them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call a pick and roll for Q if I didn't think he could make a play. Some words there from head coach Kevin Willard. The Pirates played pretty well in the first 10 minutes of this game. They were definitely the stronger team. Ryan, what do you have to think about their opening performance? Their opening performance was really strong, as you mentioned. I thought the pace was overall very balanced from Seton Hall. At times, they would really kick it up, and at times, they could kind of, uh, especially off of uh, defensive rebounds, they would kind of sometimes slowly take it up the floor and kind of draw up a nice play. And the final rebounding totals for Louisville ended up being a 42 to 28 advantage over Seton Hall. Now, Ryan, Louisville, it was a lot more even in the second half, but Louisville really dominated the boards in the first half of play. Yeah, specifically the offensive boards. It looked like Louisville was just a little bit uh, more eager, at least in the first half, on the offensive board side. And, you know, even though the Pirates did have a big lead early, they led by as many as 12 in this game, where Louisville's biggest lead was only five. The Pirates were actually very strong in the first 10 minutes, but Louisville had a big 13-2 run late in the first half. Yeah, I think that killed a lot of energy for the Pirates. Um, weren't really able to respond, at least in the first half, from that big run that Louisville had. And even after that big lead, the Pirates went to the half trailing 36-34. to Now, in the second half, it was still about as even. The final score was 70-65 to Louisville, but it was 36-34 Louisville at the half. Miles Powell finished with 23 points, but a lot of that came in the latter 20 minutes of play. Absolutely. Most impressive thing to me uh, from Powell was at one point shooting five from five from the free throw line, really being aggressive when the three-point shooting wasn't exactly going for him. And speaking of that three-point shooting, the Pirates only shooting about 16% from the three-point stripe, whereas Louisville shot 33% from the line, which is not great, but still, would you say that three-point shooting was a big difference in this game? Absolutely, Chris. I think that, um, I think that really decided the game in a lot of ways. Um, Louisville really didn't have a fantastic, I mean, shooting 33% uh, from three, that's not even a great average. It's just Seton Hall was a little worse than them, so. Well, not a great average, but Louisville had a very spread out offense today. Their leading score had only 12 points, but I think the big Probably the big guy who really put this game away was Ryan McMahon with nine points for Louisville. Absolutely. You mentioned McMahon, but I want to talk about the entire Louisville bench. I mean, they were really strong for uh, Louisville, and I think a big factor to this Louisville win, unfortunately. Well, then again, for the Pirates side, all their starters were pretty strong with the exception of McKnight, as we mentioned earlier. Powell with 23 Enzi had a strong game, and Sandra Mamakalashvili had a pretty strong game as well. Yeah, again, I hate to bring you down again, Chris, but foul trouble was a big issue for the Pirates. Sandro obviously struggle, struggling with fouls. Um, it was kind of tough towards the end for Willard to uh, manage that. And now, if you can get us down to that last couple of minutes, uh, Miles, uh, excuse me, Quincy McKnight's play may have been a big difference. There was one big shot with about three minutes to go that almost tied the game that he, he narrowly missed. Absolutely. You talk about that. Uh, shouts out to all the uh, Pirate fans out there. The Prudential Center was absolutely rocking today. Um, I think they did a great job of motivating this team. Yeah, well, uh, the Pirates finished with a 70 to 65 loss. And, you know, one more thing I think that we had to talk about was probably uh, the Pirates' shot selection in the latter part of the second half. Kevin Willard talked about that as well. Absolutely. I really never, I never mind Miles shooting a, a three, but I thought there was a couple where, especially on a fast break, we fanned out and took a tough one when we could have got a layup. Uh, we took one again in transition when I think we were up five. We took quick and they came down, banged a three. It just um, getting getting this group to understand time and score and uh, opportunities, and it's you know there's no better doing it against this, these teams so. Right, so the Pirates dropped this one by the score of 70 to 65. 
They head to New Hampshire after the, they host New Hampshire on Tuesday. Ryan, take us a little bit through the upcoming schedule. Same for Louisville as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just first, the records on the year: uh, Louisville improves to five and two, and Pirates unfortunately fall to four and three. Well, the Pirates next take on New Hampshire on Tuesday here at the Prudential Center, and then they head to Madison Square Garden across the river to take on Kentucky next Saturday. Once again, the final score, Louisville 70 and Seton Hall 65 for Ryan Clayton. I'm Chris Russo for Pirate TV.